Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So back to our karate series. In karate today, we are going to talk about one very important thing that how to pass the headers because every request will be having some headers like maybe user agent, your token, your, uh, you know, content type is equal to application JSON or application text or what or any host detail or any user agent detail that you have want to pass, either it is get call or any kind of call then how to pass the headers so so far what we have seen we have seen only uh, get call for example let's say if we use this particular api from the postman and postman by default takes these number of headers you can see connection accept or postman or something like this or host like that so how to pass some headers so there are various ways of passing the headers and then uh, you can create a request along with this headers in karate and then you can send the request like that and then you will get the proper response so let's see how to do this so for doing this, what exactly I'm going to do that I'm going to create another feature file here. Let me just create one feature file and the feature file name that I'm going to cover first headers dot feature. Okay. And I'll do one thing. Let me increase the font and uh, whatever the uh, API that we have taken last time, right? Get API dot feature. Let me just pick up to 200 over here and we will print the response also like this. Okay and uh, i'm not focusing on the assertion today but let's see get api uh, headers features get and I'll, the scenario is that pass the user request with headers this is my scenario that i want to check okay so and then this is a given base url that we have already configured in my karate config.js in the last topic that we have already seen so this is the URL which will pick by default from here. So you don't need to hard code the URL in your feature file and then path I'm passing 30 and then get call and then status should be 200 and printing the response over here. But let's see, I want to pass some uh, headers here. So in that case, what will you pass? So what you can do is that before that scenario, the moment we start the scenario, what you can say, you can write, let's see, given and then you can use one keyword that is header keyword header keyword you can write it or any kind of content type or any kind of header that you want to pass you can pass it over here for example any required in your framework or in your api that you have you can pass it for example let's see i'm passing uh, i've already copy pasted uh, here so the i'm passing these number of headers can you see that so see given header content type is equal to let's say i'm passing some text xml or application or forward slash json or accept encoding or connection or expect or user agent is equal to mozilla or whatever and header authorization is equal to let's see some bearer and this is your token that you are passing you can pass it that token as well okay so same thing see similar kind of thing i'm passing user agent accept connection authorization or something like this and when you send this request you should be able to get the response over here so let's see how to use this and then what i can do is that given head all these things and then i can change it to when and uh, when url is equal to this path equal to 30 method get 200 and response print the response perfect so i'll do one thing let me just run as run configuration and uh, this is my karate youtube practice and then i have to select headers dot feature okay the headers a feature and the project name is correct actually and then apply and run so when you run it let's see one scenario is getting passed absolutely fine and then we will see the report here and you open in a new tab and here you can see the report perfectly fine that uh, you are passing these number of headers can you see that header could be anything guys whatever your api in your project that you are using it if you are using some headers you can pass it like this okay i'm just taking some dummy examples of headers over here like that okay now let's see what are the other options because this is very lengthy thing right because so many headers line by line and 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 number of times that you have to write what are other ways so this is like let's see pass the user request with header and i'll say this is my part number one then i'm going to create part number two or option number two something like this let's see option number two here option number two says that you can pass you can create one variable let's say request headers how to create that so you can omit all these things from here so just remove everything from here and you simple write create a variable which is a def variable let's see for example i'm going to create these are my request underscore 
uh, headers okay which is equal to in curly bracket and then you can pass all the headers with the help of key and value pair format like this so i'll show you how to do this i have already written with me like this so you can pass it like this can you see that uh, see this carefully content type colon whatever the content type application json or text xml or connection or user agent or any authorization token that you want to pass you can pass it like this and then the same request headers that you have to pass you have to give as a given over here so what you do you simply write that uh, given and then use the same keyword headers and then this request header variable you have to pass it means i have collected all the headers in this particular variable and then you pass the same thing over here and that's it so you don't need to maintain so many number of lines over here you can just simply write different key and value pair here so let's run the entire uh, feature file and let's see it is working or not it's awesome we are getting zero failure to pass and we will cross check here in the html report which is perfectly fine so this is part number two and see it's giving uh, the headers in the log also like this in the report also like this and you are getting the absolutely right result and response you are getting it over here perfect in the first request also we were getting the response now let's see the third way there is one more way of uh, doing it so how to do that so i'll do one thing let's see part number three uh okay so i'll see part number three here and then we can use one configure keyword also so instead of a uh, definition you can simply write a uh, configure and for example let's see this is my i'll say a request underscore headers that i have created and everything will remain same just in a, a bracket over here like this and here now you don't need to mention any given over here you can directly start with the url that's it okay configure request header that's it so it will automatically take the headers or instead of request headers better you take headers keyword actually here like this not header just write headers over here okay and then let's see it is uh, working or not so run as cucumber feature so this will be my third part which is absolutely working fine now let's see the html report see this is also absolutely working fine so these are my headers which i have already configured configured with the help of configure keyword and then the request and the response that we are getting it over here after that whatever that you want to validate and everything in the next video i'll i'll tell you that how to validate the response headers also today we are just talking about the request header configuration so these are the three various uh, different ways of uh, uh, configuring your headers with your uh, http request okay i'll quickly repeat first one is that multiple given header that you can write it like this in the separate line and then you can create a given request over header request like this and then use the same uh, header keyword for each and every line over here like this okay and then you have to write key and value pair format with equal to the second one is that uh, you have to define one request header any any variable name put it over here in the curly bracket over here like this and different key and value pair format you can define in the same variable name you have to uh, use it here and the third one is that you can just simply write configure headers and uh, you don't need to write any uh, specific uh, given step for the headers this will take care of it it will automatically associate it with the request and then it will send the request and then we will get the response over here and you can cross check here like this with all the uh, different three uh, scenarios that we have seen everything is coming in the green color here like that okay so that's all for this particular video how to pass the request headers with in uh, with your api in karate framework that's it so i hope you're liking this karate series please subscribe to the channel and apply these things in your framework a lot of good things are coming with respect to karate and a lot of new things are coming on this channel i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you